let's get into it. Soul Not For Sale podcast, Coach Colin here. We got something very, very important to talk about. I mean, this this is this is something that is is rivaling the election right now and it it has to do with a man and a squirrel but elon musk brings up a different point in regards to this whole thing alongside joe rogan let's get right into that let's go it's, it's, <laughs> he's seems more up. likely than not he's a messed up wild man playing russian roulette hey yeah, maybe don't, you don't kill your f-ing neighbor yes i mean if somebody killed your dog you'd be really inclined to kill them too yeah somebody kill your squirrel yeah john really john wick yeah, the f- squirrel thing is bananas. Yeah, that squirrel the, thing I, in the New York. Thing, I, I, so here's the thing about the, the the whole squirrel thing is is that um, how, how can it be that we live in America, uh, supposedly land of the free, and the you know the, the government can barge into your home with guns, uh, so if you resist, you're going to get shot, um, and then take your your pets and execute them. Um, and if they can do that to your pets, what do you think they can do to you? I know that's not an exaggeration. Absolutely, it, it sounds so, like you're you're. Oh, that's so crazy! How can you make that connection? But it's that's. No, it's why a, it's would a, you kill a, that cute little squirrel that was obviously a pet and trained from the time it was a baby? Yes. If you see the interaction that guy has with that squirrel, it was wonderful. It was really cute. Yes, absolutely. There, there, there's, it, it was just obviously a, it was a beloved pet, pet squirrel um, and a raccoon too, um, and doing no harm. Um, and the, the the government comes in, barges into the guy's house takes his pets and kills them and you know I, I think this should this should really get people out there mobilized frankly because um, you know we think you see that like the John Wick movie where John Wick's like you know he, he, he wants to he just wants peace like you know in, in, the, in the John Wick movie he just wants to, he's like listen I want to retire and they offer him like tons of money like to because they want him to be an assassin to keep being an assassin and, like they, they're like they, they like offer him tons of money they threaten him he's like listen I'm not gonna be I'm, I'm, I'm out you know and they kill his dog that was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really they a cute little puppy, and the puppy was his uh, ex-wife's gift to him when she died of cancer. Yeah, great movie. Great movie. It's the best revenge movie of all yeah. time. Because it's so ridiculous, he kills everybody. He kills everyone, um, <laughs> and you're rooting for him. <laughs> yeah, they shouldn't have killed his dog. <laughs> yeah, they fucked up, and yeah. they shouldn't have killed that squirrel. They shouldn't have killed that f- that squirrel. I mean, it's like how many how many cases have we not heard about? You know, oh, um, look at that little guy. And that squirrel clearly had a love relationship with that guy. He would hop all over him and climb on him. I mean, it was that was his pet. That uh, that squirrel thought of that man as his protector, as his his companion. Yeah, you know? there was nothing wrong with that. And in Texas, it's totally legal. You could have a f-ing zebra out here. You could have whatever you want. And that's the argument for freedom. And you know, the flip side yes. is you get a bunch of people with tigers in their backyard, which is yeah. not great. <laughs> it's, it's like this was a f- squirrel. It's not. Right. A, it's not an anaconda or a right. or, or, or you know, you know, crocodile or something that's or a chimpanzee. Harm. Did you see Chimp Crazy? Oh man, ch- 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 chimps, chimps, are, chimps will eat your face. Okay? They will f- you up. They will f- you and they don't up. even. The thing is, they don't even kill you. They just cripple you. Chimps don't even kill people, yeah. which is really weird. They just bite your hands off and bite your dick off and tear your <laughs> they, face apart. Yes. They want to leave you. They could kill you easily. If a chimp yeah. wanted to just punch you in the head until you're dead, it wouldn't take long, but they don't kill you. They just rip you apart. Yeah. And you can have a chimp. <laughs> and so, yeah, Well, but, you used to be able to have a chimp in a lot of states, and then Chimp Crazy kind of exposed a lot of that, and PETA did a great job of stopping people from keeping chimps as pets. Because once they hit like five, yeah. you can't control them anymore. Well, it's obviously totally understandable if somebody's got... Um, you know, a creature that is dangerous to others, but right. like obviously a, squ- a squirrel and a raccoon are not. Well, squirrels and, are fucking everywhere. That's what's so crazy. Yeah, like, like, why, why can't just... you have it in the house? What kind of rules are we dealing with? You have rats everywhere. Yeah, um, I mean, they're 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 allowing criminals to go free and and like violent criminals to go free, but they're like spending your tax dollars to come in and execute your fucking pets. What the hell is exactly. going on? Exactly. And, and it's like, um, but it's overreach. It's and it's it's, it's, just... it's government overreach, and and this just keeps getting worse every year. And that's why that's why we, we, we've we've got to we've got to fight back against this. Um, and um, you know, it's people say like, well, it's just a squirrel. Well, it was, it was you know, in John Wick's case, it was just a dog. Right. Yeah. You know. But, well, remember the Russian guy said, "It's a f-ing dog. It's just a f-ing yeah. dog." It's just a fucking yeah. squirrel. Yeah. Well, it's the the funniest thing is when so. 
it just I just don't understand how anybody could justify it. I don't understand how any like I, it seems to me that in a logical world, all that guy would have to do is say, "Why don't you see me with this girl? This girl's a pet. Yeah. Like, look, he, he hops on me. He eats. He sleeps. I can keep a gerbil, but I can't keep a squirrel. I can have a guinea pig. I can't have a squirrel. I can have a chinchilla. My daughter has a chinchilla. It's adorable. Adorable little thing. Climbs all right. over. Can't well, a squirrel. It, even if they if they did take a squirrel away, couldn't they have released it into the woods or something? Well, it's a bit, the idea is you have to euthanize it because it's used to being fed. It doesn't know how to forage. It won't be able to like find a home. We'll squirrels a are brutal. Squirrels are absolutely brutal to each other. They throw each other out of trees, which is one of the reasons why squirrels like can fall from like thirty feet and just kind of bounce off the ground and live. It's like it's a, a natural adaptation because squirrels during mating they bite each other. They, they used to be like a rumor. There was a, a myth that squirrels bite each other's nuts off. And that, <laughs> okay, that that seems to be a myth. But it came out of the fact that squirrels are so ruthless during mating. So, like, one female is just running away. Like I have squirrels in my backyard. I watch it all the time. One female apparently goes into estrus, and all the male squirrels fight to get to her. So they're running up trees and chasing each other around trees, literally throwing each other off trees to try to, like— ha So if this poor sure. little peanut, the squirrel, who's used to living with a guy in an apartment, like, gets out there in the, the wild world Well, fair squirrels, enough, but at least I have a chance. Yeah. At least he has a chance. Let's but have a chance. How about just leave him with the guy? Yeah, leave him with the guy for sure. What the f is wrong with you? Why are you killing that squirrel? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, and then to add insult to injury, there were a bunch of people on the left who were like actually posting that they're glad that Maga Squirrel got killed. Which is Maga Squirrel. Yeah. Like the fing squirrel has an ideology. It's a it's cute little fucking, yeah. fluffy squirrel. Exactly. Well, it's it's so, a, a nice just, symbol because most lo most like reasonable, compassionate people think that's terrible. And most people who have yeah, pets exactly. think it's terrible. Terrible. Um so I don't know. I mean, I'm like, I hope people just go out there and vote for Peanut, man. If nothing else, <laughs> if nothing else, just vote, like you vote for Peanut. You know, they've done such a job of painting Trump as a monster. You know, they've taken the worst things that he's ever said and ample. And he's not a perfect person, but guess what? No one's a perfect person. They yeah. don't exist. This purity test, like, if Obama was a perfect person, he wouldn't be lying on stage about yeah, exactly. that, that. You know, very the fine people it. hoax. The, the, there's, exactly. No one's going to be a perfect person, but. The thing that they didn't understand about Trump is he's so crazy that if you tell him, like, he can't be president, like, remember Obama did that during that White House press correspondence? You know, I, There's I, one I, thing that, I'm, that I am that you'll never be, president of the United States. You see Trump in the audience going, okay, motherfucker. Like, you know, <laughs> I, man, such a, you know what? I, at first, I wasn't going to, like, my editor is like, oh, you should look into this. Oh, oh. He was like happy that I was like doing this one. And I was like, who cares about this issue? But the way Elon Musk positioned it made me actually want to learn a little bit more about it because that is true. Why is it that Venezuelans can beat up a police officer in New York and leave the precinct without doing any jail time, give the middle finger? Like, how is this? Why is that okay? Why is it that the same Venezuelan gang, and they were a part of this gang, Train de Tren de la Agua or something like that? Agua? I don't know. But they were a part of that gang. That same gang is infiltrating the shelters and recruiting people out of the shelters, bringing firearms and drugs into the immigration shelters. Because when I say shelter, they're hotels, the Roosevelt, things like that. And they're moving stuff all through there. They have like an operation that's running through these shelters. Like how how is all that able to happen? And the in the in the 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 state level government of New York, the law enforcement isn't like, oh, we got this handled. Yeah, let's get in there. Let's let's swarm this hotel. Let's swarm the Roosevelt because there's might be firearms in here. Let's swarm it like there's a squirrel and a raccoon in here. And let's let's just. Let's handle business, guys. How is that not possible? But they have time for a squirrel and a raccoon. It's actually really weird. It's very, very odd. But again, it goes back to this whole anti-human type of thing that they have going on on the left, quite honestly. And, you know, it is New York. That is why I'm going to say the left. I'm not going to say the right when we're talking about New York. I, you know, New York has become as left leaning as Hollywood, if not more. So I'm just going to show you a couple of clips here. And then I'm going to actually show if you. I no, 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 no. The music makes it way too sad. We're not going to do the music. So this is the raccoon that got killed. I'm actually going to show you the guy 
the guy who actually had these two as pets and his whole response to everything. It's pretty wild that they were able to do this, that they were willing to do this. Again, no, no, the music just makes it way too sad. So that's the dude, you know, this is his squirrel. It's just with him. It's not like an outside squirrel. It's obviously just in the house all the time. Him and his wife are playing with this thing all the time. You know, I'm just going to give you a gist. It's too, it's too, it gets too sad. This is pretty wild, too. I got to say, I'm not a pet guy. I'm not into dogs. Not into cats. I know, I know you're going to be like, oh, my God, I'm allergic to them. So from the time I was a little kid, I could never have pets or anything like that. But I would I, it, listen, if I could get a squirrel that was like this. You know what I mean? This is this is pretty this is pretty great. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. All right, so let's move on. Oh, it's too cute. This is too cute. This is crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right, so this is the whole family, but let's actually hear what they have to say about what happened. I just wanted to give you a little so you understand. Here, listen to this. We just learned that they have euthanized peanut and the um, raccoon as well. And the raccoon as well. Um, I, I, I am so sorry. I, I, this is, this must be really difficult for you. It not only tears my family apart, but Peanut was the cornerstone of our nonprofit animal rescue. And 10 to 12 DEC officers raided my house as if I was a drug dealer. I was sat outside my house for five hours. I had to get a police escort to my bathroom I wasn't even allowed to feed my rescue horses breakfast or lunch. I was sit sat there like a criminal after they interrogated my wife to check out her immigration status, then proceeded to ask me if I had cameras in my house, then proceeded to go through every cabinet, nook and cranny of my house for a squirrel and a raccoon. They got a search warrant? They got a search warrant. Four departments and a judge signed off on a search warrant for a squirrel and a raccoon. And then they took them and killed them. Why did they go through all that to get a search warrant for an animal that had been with you very safely and the world witnessed this for seven years? Why now suddenly did they show up with a search warrant and, and take these animals? We haven't a clue. We don't know who made the, com uh, the, the complaints. Again, Peanut was an uh, indoor squirrel, not harming anybody. He's been with us for seven years. Not a single complaint was ever filed for this animal. We had him for seven and a half years. He became the world's most famous squirrel. We weren't hiding him by any means. He was all over TikTok. He became the first squirrel on TikTok to ever hit a million followers. He did every news station around the world. He's helped people. He's helped kids gather joy. And then we started a nonprofit animal rescue called Peanuts Freedom Farm to help animals like Peanut fight a good fight when they're in a neglected case or they're sitting in a slaughter auction. And he was the cornerstone of our life and our organization. We used his platform to help raise money for the 300 animals we have at our sanctuary. We this is crazy. When I saw this video, I was like, whoa, this is a lot. I thought this guy just had a squirrel. Like, he just lured a squirrel into his house. He's just been feeding it. But apparently, they found the 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 a baby squirrel abandoned, because that happens sometimes, on the ground. And then they fed the squirrel and took care. Of, and it's, it's literally that squirrel only knows them as family. It's never grown up in the wild whatsoever pretty wild story man and uh is this i you know me i gotta make light of a situation but is this how we get them to go after illegal immigrants you're gonna have to say hey listen i was walking by that shelter and i don't know i saw a couple of them with squirrels and a couple had raccoons they're getting kind of close next thing you know then they'll barge in then they'll barge in and be like we gotta deport these people that's how you're going to get New York to <laughs> deport the, the million illegal immigrants that they have just chilling inside of theirs. I saw three of them. I saw them with squirrels. I saw four of them with raccoons. They had them doing tricks and everything. They had them doing what? Let's handle this, gentlemen. That was the only way you're going to do it, I guess. Doesn't make any sense. Now, apparently, I will jump over here really quick. Do I have the video still? 
Yeah, apparently this is the lady that made the complaint. That's what people are saying. Monica Kelser. Apparently she made the complaint. This is Monica. Uh, I don't. I don't know if this is true. People are saying she made the complaint. I don't know if she has any connection. That's what's about. I'm just telling you what's bouncing around X right now. You know, smoke show. Uh, but you know, that's uh, that's the word on the street. Is that that lady actually made the complaint? I don't know. And I don't know what the complaint could have even been. But if she is the person that made the complaint, whoever made the complaint, you know what it is. It's that COVID mentality. That's exactly what that is, just so you know. It's that it's that pandemic mentality where you could call call reports on your neighbors, call reports on friends and family. I saw someone with a squirrel. Do I get my pet on the head? I saw him. He didn't have four masks on. It's New York. There's still double masks with gloves on. Not everybody, but you'll see it. You'll see it way more. I don't even see, I haven't seen a mask in Texas ever. I've never seen one before in my life. I'm just saying, I've never seen that before. New York, it's a regular thing, a very regular thing. There are still people who will look at you and go, I can't. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> it's been five years. You still don't know to have your mask on. There's still those people that exist in New York, so... I'm really not surprised, but it is a reflection of what could happen when the government just takes too much overreach. And it's weird because it's overreach in the wrong, I won't say the wrong, any overreach anywhere is in the wrong place. But it's interesting where they're willing to flex muscle and where they're not willing to flex any muscle. Very, very interesting. They'll literally allow the residents to have their lives thrown into disarray by having all these illegals. They'll literally take away from people of color, Hispanic, black communities. They'll take 53 million, 40 million. They'll take millions and millions of dollars away from those people who need that money and they'll put it towards, you know what I mean? It's like they have no problem with the citizens being in disarray and destabilization and demoralization, but... <laughs> They have no problem doing that. But when it comes to the whole illegal situation, it's all held, it's all dealt with with kid gloves, you know, housing those people better than they house their homeless, treating them better than they treat their veterans. And then will they really flex their muscles when they got to bust into a house and take out a squirrel and a raccoon? It's weird, man. Weird stuff. Here, here's another one just going in depth of what happened. Feeding all of our 71 rescue horses at our nonprofit animal rescue. Uh, midway through that, um, a line of DEC officers, about six to eight of them, showed up and uh, gave me a warrant for a squirrel and a raccoon. The search warrant said Longo was in unlawful possession of wildlife. He says agents ransacked his property for five hours until they found Peanut and Fred the raccoon. We complied. Um, we weren't allowed to move. We were police escorted into the bathroom. Mind you, this is a search warrant for a squirrel and a raccoon. Um, and I feel like this was a little bit of an overkill. Longo says he was working on the necessary paperwork to be able to legally own Peanut as an educational animal. You're not only hurting my family by taking Peanut away from me, but you're also hurting the organization that we started on the back of a, a rescue squirrel. We named this organization Peanut's Freedom Farm because he has been such a big portion of my life and so many people around the world. You know, we promoted the fact that squirrels are not good pets. They don't deserve to be inside, but there are rare occasions where you stumble on an animal that unfortunately can't survive in their normal habitat. Um, that's the only reason why Peanut was ever a rescue animal. Longo says he rescued Peanut seven years ago in New York City after the squirrel's mom was hit by a car. He says he rehabbed Peanut and tried to release him into his backyard. But Longo says Peanut never developed the instincts to survive outside. After Peanut was attacked by an animal and lost half his tail, Longo let Peanut live in his home. And then he became best friends with my cat. So that's when we turned to social media. We put some funny and silly videos out there, and the internet loved him. He became the world's most famous squirrel. Peanut racked up a combined 3 million followers on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. Longo says he believes Peanut's fame led to someone filing a complaint. I'm no expert in anything involving politics or the state, but they sent six to eight officers to my house from Albany 
to confiscate a squirrel and a raccoon, and it was signed off on a search warrant. So just that, that in its sense to say that is one of the most I, I, shocking things I could say, in my opinion, is we just used resources and spent an entire day sitting two people who run a nonprofit animal rescue and treat them like criminals. Weird, man. The whole thing is just weird. Yeah, it makes me wonder. Like, I, I almost want to delve deeper into this guy's TikTok. Like, was he a, like right away? You know what I mean? I'm like, is, is this guy a Trump supporter? Is this what this is? I don't know. He doesn't. You know, there's no signs of that. But I wonder. Maybe Peanut was a Trump supporter. You know, maybe he was racking up the squirrel vote. I don't know. This is this is all very odd. You know, it's like a New York. Um, can we look into all these illegal immigrants you guys have and, uh, see if any of them are involved in trafficking of drugs, firearms? No, there's too, there's too many squirrels. No, there's so many squirrels and raccoons and I, I got too much on my plate. We don't have time for any of that. Just give those illegal immigrants money and cars and phones and just, just be done with it. We have all these squirrels that we have to find. I, there's so many squirrels that I have to find. Oh, then we have to teach the black kids what computers are. There's a lot going on right now. I'm sorry. Get it together, New York. You suck. Just saying. If you're from New York, please, please be insulted by that. Now, let's <laughs> move on to the last thing Elon Musk said, which was vote for peanut. What he meant was vote for Trump. It is, it is election day right now. I don't know when I'm going to be putting this out, but, oh, man, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not so tight. It seems like Trump's going to win. I'm hoping that he's going to win. I'm actually, I think I'm going to jump on a live right now. You guys won't. It's not going to correlate, but I'm going to jump on a live right now and just watch the election. Oh, fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen. Fight, fight, fight. Let's get into it. I'm out. I gotta go. To, I gotta. I got to jump on this thing because it's gonna be wild if Trump wins. It's gonna be like ten Super Bowls, but it's gonna be even worse if Kamala wins because there's gonna be some sad people. I am going to have to help some people in their mental states if Kamala Harris wins. I'm just saying. I really think. And if Trump wins. Whew, I don't know, man, like go out into the streets, have fun, have fun. Don't get violent or anything. Have fun. But when you come home, lock your doors because the leftists are going to be out. They're going to be out for soy. They're going to be out for soy. They don't go out for blood. They're all vegans. They're all vegans. They're, they're, they're going to be out for soy. They're going to be out for your lettuce. Anyways, guys, I got to go like subscribe, turn on the notifications. Other than that, I'm out.